Hello, my friends. I hope you are well. And yes, fitness influencers are out of control. You know what we should do, Jake? While you're next training, I know you're only 18 days away from a fight, but next time you're training and you want some sparring, fly to Romania and we'll spar and we'll film it and we'll decide if we want to release it or not afterwards. But I have no problem. We can have a sparring match anytime. That's easy, no, right? It. It's, I'm down to that, but we can't, but we yeah. can't release it for free. That's like... It's like giving the people what they want. Well, I say fitness influencers, but I mostly mean influencers who are engaging in fitness because Jake Paul and Andrew Tate have said, oh, we'd love to get together and have a lovely bit of a sparry spa. Whereas Francis Ngannou and Tyson Fury have signed the deal and they're going to have some kind of boxing match in a couple of months. I'd love to tell you it's an exhibition, but I really don't know. Everybody keeps coming up with different rules. The thing is, though, if Tate and Paul do square off, I absolutely do want to see that on my television set so I can watch them punch each other in the face. Whereas when it comes to Tyson and Francis, well, I can kind of take it or leave it. It's official. Me versus Francis and Garnu, 28th of October, in Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. We cannot wait. And Garnu! You're getting it, you big gosser! Now, fair play to the former UFC heavyweight champion, because his story is absolutely ridiculous, and the fact he's going to get paid is one of those damn right situations. But the reason I did want to start this week with stories like this is to remind you that even if you are seeing somebody on YouTube, or you are seeing somebody on TV, or you're seeing somebody in the public space, they're probably just trying to make some money. It doesn't mean that these specific human beings are, but if you hear something that sounds too good to be true, or you'll see something that makes your eyebrow raise up in the air, it's probably your gut instincts kicking in and going, red flag, red flag, and you should stay away from it. If something is far-fetched, it's probably because it's far-fetched, and somebody somewhere just wants some cash. We'll always take a minute to think about how sane things sound, which ties into eggs. Nobody saw that coming. Because this story has done the rounds. I mean, it was here, there, and everywhere. And sure, the flavor of the week when it comes to dieting is hard-boiled eggs. Who knew? Known as the hard-boiled egg diet, and that must have taken them all of 3.2 milliseconds to come up with, it is essentially the Atkins diet, which kind of means it's silly. Because it does mean that the majority of your protein does indeed come from eggs, and while you are allowed to mix in some vegetables, your carbohydrate intake is going to be super low. But don't worry, when it comes to lunchtime, you can have a lean source of protein, such as fish or chicken. Hooray! There's also two variations of this diet, one of which is where you just eat eggs and grapefruit, and the other, dun dun dun, where you eat nothing but eggs. Would somebody please think of the gas? It's also going to drive you nuts, but here's the truth behind it. It has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that you're eating eggs. And if you are only eating eggs, unless you are eating boxes and boxes of the stuff, which you won't be, have a guess what's going to be happening behind the scenes. That's right, you are going to be in a calorie deficit because your calories are going to be flubbing low. And you are going to be miserable, though and you're absolutely going to hate your own life. And to be fair, most people that have reported on this do say you should only do it for a week, so I guess it's going to be one of those hardcore diets. But doesn't it make more sense, here it comes again, to come up with a sustainable diet that you could actually do long term, and that you actually like, and that doesn't mean waking up at 6am so you can stick an egg up your ass. It also means you have space on your calendar that says stop the egg diet. Because if any of your friends come around and see that, they ain't going to want to hang out with you anymore. And speaking of people you don't want to hang out with, let's talk about The Rock. Now recently people have been a bit mad at Dwayne Johnson because he did post a picture of him working out and people went, oh my gosh, he doesn't train legs, look at his rubbish legs. Like you do know this man is 50 years old and he's essentially a superhuman. Johnson came back firing though with yet another video on Instagram where he was working on his back. And he let you know the deal and how much he loves cable ropes. And he focuses on high volume and supersets in order to get lots of blood flow to the muscle. But what I really appreciated is that he did talk about the stretch and he talked about the squeeze because nobody does that anymore. Of course, lifting heavy weight is important to the fact, but you do want to squeeze your muscles and you do want to stretch them because obviously if you are doing that, you're working them. So it's all good hurling weight around, but without that range of motion, you ain't going to get nowhere. But sure, it's also true the other way around. It's just still, even in 2023, everybody wants to be the strong guy in the gym, and I promise you, nobody else cares. So as ever, balance is key, and if you're not going, well, Simon, I'd love to do this, but my lifestyle is too busy. <laughs> Well, The Guardian apparently has the answer for you. So they ran this nifty article about a bunch of ways that you can work out even if your life is busy. And number one was why don't you sit on the floor when watching television? We're also told to grab a tea towel and start stretching your shoulders while you are doing the dishes. And hey, when you are brushing your teeth, 
why don't you stand on one leg for a little while? Now, I admit I do do this. That's because I play a nightly game with myself to see if I can outdo the previous record. Because look at me, I'm a strange person. What annoys me is that while it's actually quite smart, like these articles will always tell you, why don't you take the stairs as opposed to the escalator, in no way is it a substitute for going to the fitness palace of love. So all it does is open the door for people looking for excuses to go, well, hey, here's my excuse. And then before they know it, they're washing the dishes while whipping a towel around. So it's just a massive trick then. When you see a trick, unless somebody goes abracadabra beforehand, ignore it. There's also a ton of secrets this week too, because Arnie revealed some of his. And it always start out with high reps, so you kind of warm up the area that is vulnerable, like in my case, uh, the elbows. The first set to do like 30 reps, the fourth, sometimes 50. He told these to Men's Health and Shock Cora, well, they're actually pretty good. And it is important coming from somebody like Schwarzenegger, because so many people still see him as the fitness man. And the first one could be the most important thing you add into your routine today, warm up. Now, people still won't do this, and I don't know why. They think they can just bypass it, but do a little bit of cardio, do some dynamic stretching, and sure, before you get into your working sets, do some warming up ones. And only likes to do it in the sense that he will just do a really light weight and do 30 reps, but there's other things you can do too. You can go 10 reps, eight reps, six reps, four reps, two reps. The point is you don't go as heavy as you would do on a working set. You go relatively light and you just prep your body and tell your mind, oh, hey, we're about to put you under a lot of stress. The last action hero also suggested that you should keep your head up when working your rear delts because it will stop you from working your back instead. And he had the classic too. I mean, we just talked about it, full range of motion. But we have chatted about this enough, so all I will say is, are you going to fight Arnie and tell him he's wrong? Probably, but you will make an absolute fool out of yourself. This advice comes from all walks of life too, because say hello to actor Timothy Spall. Because he is quite the recognisable actor over here in the UK, and he too recently lost a ton of weight. And when he was asked about it, he said, well, I tell you this, if I ever put out a book about it, I could do it in two pages. And instantly I knew I was going to love him. Because the first page would be reminding the reader that yes, food is awesome. And the second page would be, and if you eat too much of it, you're gonna put on weight. And if you go in the other direction, you will lose it. That's all I did, and I'm a relatively old man. So he's right, listen to him. Do not let anybody else complicate it for you. Such as Dr. Michael Mosley's Fast 800 diet. I mean, because this made the papers too and it told you to get rid of fat-produced products and to stop eating processed foods to the point you can even replace it by cooking your meat or whatever in butter. So that sounds wonderful, right? But nope. Go back to the name. Do you want to know why it has 800 in there? Because you're only eating 800 calories a day. So if you are only eating 800 calories a day, don't go for butter. That will use up about half. And look, can anybody actually survive on 800 calories long term? Sure they can. If they're an ant, but you ain't no f***ing ant. So always make sure you read the small print. As this video has been very weird, let's finish it bonkers. Because this gym staring stuff is totally out of control. Because recently a female personal trainer did post online that this mother hubbard from across the fitness palace of love kept looking at her and he kept looking at her and he kept looking at her. This creepy old guy at the gym kept coming over and staring at me. So I told my husband and he came over and worked out next to me. Even after he came over, he continued to stare. I decided to stop working out and stare back. I thought he got the picture. I attempted to do my set. Then I got fed up and went over and addressed him. I told him him if he's gonna work out in this corner, he needed to stop staring and making me uncomfortable. His response was, I'm just looking around. I then told him I record my workouts and I have him on film. He shut up real quick. She even got her boyfriend, but the dude would not stop staring to the point she decided, all right, if you're staring at me, I'm going to stare back at you. Now, of course, this got super duper awkward. But do you think she wanted to do this? No, she just wanted to get a pump on. So for goodness sake, let her get pumped. She also confronted him and said, oh, look, I'm filming all of this. And surprise, surprise, and he did back off. And just look at it this way. Do you go to the grocery store and then play arcade games? No, you don't. So if you do go to the gymnasium, do not hit on people. It's not the place. It's not the time. Not everybody wants to get in your pants. I mean, why do we even need to address this in the first place? And I swear it's getting worse. Have some damn respect. And at the same time, you can also like the video, share the video, and subscribe, and click the video that will be on the screen in just one second. It will be another rant like this. And if you are looking for supplements that I do recommend that actually will help you, one or two percent in the gym, it's gorillamind.com forward slash Simon. Use the code Simon, you get 10% off. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter at Simon316, patreon.com forward slash Simon316. I'm on Cameo, personalized videos at Simon Miller. And I have merchandise too at Pro Wrestling Tees, and of course, Samson Athletics. 
check it out. Thank you very much for joining me as always. And again, just go out there and train as hard as you can while respecting everybody else. It ain't hard to be nice. It actually costs more to be an a-hole. See you soon.